Tell me about that weekend when you went looking for Daryl Strawberry. I got a call from Daryl telling me he was in Daytona. And if I didn't get up there to get him, he probably committed suicide. Uh, I jumped in my car from Tampa, Florida to uh, Daytona doing 90 miles an hour all the way. And I found him on the ground in back of a 7-Eleven. Uh, coked out, he, he had powder on his shirt, so I grabbed him, put him in the car, took him back to uh, Tampa. Daryl Strawberry? Daryl Strawberry, absolutely. And it was one of the most saddest sights I've seen was Daryl. What did you say to him when you, when you picked him up off the ground? Hey, I said, hey, I love you. I think you're ready for some treatment. He said, Doc, is he that I'm gonna die? You remember him on the ground by the garbage dumpster behind the 7-Eleven? Right. Not looking anything like the Daryl Strawberry we know? Right. Did you ever think that there'd be a Daryl Strawberry <laughs> rehab center? Not in a million years. You know, I look around, you know, I go home and just, you know, thank God it's cause it's still, I have to pinch myself. <laughs> you know, these are two different things, you know, and now, now he's helping other people.